All right, guys, so I'm going to take you through a lower body stretch routine. Uh, all of the exercises will probably take you like between 20 to 23 minutes based on how long you spend in between each exercise. Uh, what I might mention is I've done this whole routine before on a bed. I found a bed really effective and easy. Um, but for the sake of today, I'm going to use a heap of props just so you can see how to do it without the bed. So the first one we're going to do is middle splits. So what you need to do is either sit up on your bed or sit up on uh, a stool with a pillow like this. This is where your elbows are going to sit. Now, you need a timer as well to make sure that you're doing it exactly the two minutes. So I'm going to do the whole workout with you today and we'll go through uh, and I'll time it. But it's good just to do it yourself um, when, you, when you're practicing both up. So, let's start with that. The key is, like, I'm gonna have a lot of gaps in between talking, and that's gonna allow you to really relax into the stretch. And that's a really key point. So all of this is, is passive, okay? So we're not doing anything active. And you can see, like, as I'm starting to relax, my feet are kind of going further and further out. Um, I'm trying to put as much weight into my arms so that I'm fully relaxed in the legs and I'm not contracting and holding on, trying to save it. So we're going to hold this for another minute and a half. And I want you just to slow your breathing down, let your legs kind of slide out if they slide out and just sit in it. As I'm starting to relax, my feet can go wider. Note, if you're really flexible and your hips are a lot lower because your feet are so wide, just use a lower uh, prop or something lower. You can even go on the floor if you're really flexible. For me, I like to have the bench or bed or whatever at a height where I can really get a lot of weight into it. If the thing's too low, you won't be able to like put much weight into your upper body. So, we've got another 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And then really gently coming out. Next, we're going to do a front split. So I like to have a two or one forms of support something for my knee to sit on something is like if you're, if you're on carpet this is fine on carpet if your heel is quite sensitive I like to use a slider because it allows it like kind of takes the pain away in my foot but so you're going to set your timer to a minute 30 you're going to get enough support either with two hands or one hand basically you just want everything to stay as, as straight as possible without too much focus on it and then get your time going and so this one I'm really trying to relax as you relax your foot will slide out further and further but I'm just trying to like again put as much weight as I need into this arm to like make sure I'm relaxed if I'm going no hands I find my body starts to tense up and try and hold it there so you want to support it enough so you can relax and that might mean like this sort of stuff So we've got another minute.
probably notice that one side is more flexible than the other, that's completely fine. So thing to note, I'm not doing this, I don't want to turn. I want to try and stay as straight as I can, but I'm keeping as much weight in my upper body so that my legs can fully relax. A little bit of turning and twisting at the hips isn't too bad, you just don't want anything too crazy. when you really slow the breath down and relax, you'll get heaps more range. Next one, we're doing a elevated pigeon. So what we're going to need for this is a bed or something to rest your leg on. I'm just going to adjust the camera. So in this case, I'm going to use a couch. So we need something for our back knee, so that doesn't hurt. And we need something um, just to lift our leg onto. So I'm going to start with my left leg and here we're going for another minute 30. And so I will start that. We want our leg to be horizontal and um, basically like a right angle of the knee. And then I'm just trying to relax into my upper body. So heaps of weight into my hand and then my knee is pushing down towards the floor. As your body starts to calm down and relax, you'll notice that you can push the knee down more. Just kind of let it relax and fall into it. Don't force anything too much. Just straight into the other side, no market around. Again, you'll find one side tighter than the other, that's completely fine. Just set it up however you can. So for this one, I need to be a little bit higher because it's a bit tight. I'm just going to stay here. So the open arms so I can come forward. 
hold of it. So next we have got a frog stretch. So I'm just gonna adjust this again. I like to do this one with two pillows on my knees because my knees hurt on the floor. So you can either use sliders or you can use um, you can use pillows or, or if you're on a carpet and it doesn't hurt, you can just use you know your knees on the carpet. So what I like to do Get both knees on the pillow. You're going to set your timer to two minutes and then just get it going. Elbows on the floor and then you're trying to just like wiggle your knees out. If you're on the sliders, you won't need to. You'll find they'll just like slide out naturally. And then I'm just putting as much weight as I can in my arms and then really relaxing my legs. You'll notice that they'll start to open up quite quickly. So I'm just going to try and get some more range. There we go. There. Be really slow coming out of it. You just rock forward like this, bring your legs together, and then you're out. Cool. Next one, we have got a pancake now. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be sitting on a pillow because this stuff, this hard floor hurts my bum. So, pretty much, we're just going to start by getting our legs out nice and wide. We've got a three minute timer. So, get your timer going for three minutes. Get that going. The first position is we're just gonna sit forward like this and be really passive. Now, if you're using your bed, I find that like grabbing onto the bed, kind of locking a, a spot in and then pulling yourself so you feel the stretch is quite nice. But in this case, like I like to grab my ankles and just kind of sit up, pull with the arms until I get a nice gentle stretch and then try and really relax. If you're a lot more flexible than me, you can just reach your hands forward and go like chest to the floor or get close to that. But if you're not, you know, this is where we stay. We want nice and wide feet as well. So always at our first minute done. 
Once the first one is done, you're gonna pick your side, any side doesn't matter. Try and grab your toe with your opposite hand or wherever you can reach to. It might just be in the air like this, but you're just gonna grab onto that. Your other hand is in the inside of your leg, trying to open your chest to the roof, and then you're just gonna relax. Another minute done, slowly come across, do the same on the other side. Come out, bring the legs together, and relax. So the next one, you can either use your bed or you can use a prop. And so you want to set our timer to 90 seconds. I'm going to need a stick or you can hold on to a wall or a door. So what we're going to do, one foot is going to be propped up onto the step. I want the stick in there in the same hand as the foot and I'm trying to turn and lean forward. But it's really important this turning comes from the hips. So the hips are turning, this hand is just helping me balance and then I'm reaching down towards the foot. And it's a hinge at the hip, not a collapse to the back. So you want to try and stay nice and tall, both legs are straight, turn and then slide down. You should kind of feel this through the outside of the leg, even up into the glute, instead of it being mostly just in the hamstring. And you'll get more if you just keep kind of twisting and opening more. Fine with this, you don't actually have to go that low if you get the twist correct. But obviously, if you're more flexible, then you'll go low. But the twist is everything. I'm not just like staying like this and turning and folding. I want to keep that twist happening. The other side is ready, yo. One side is always going to be tighter than the other, usually, anyway. This side is definitely my tight side. So you're trying to find a position where you can really relax into it. You don't want to be like too tense, so make sure you're putting a fair bit of weight into the stick to keep your balance and make sure you're turning.
Let's see what Next one is we're going to do a down dog for, for this. I'm going to take the socks off so that I don't slip on the cow line. This is mostly hitting your hamstrings, so we want two minutes in a timer. So, you're trying to keep your legs straight, your heels might be up depending on how tight your calves are, and then we're not trying to be here, we're trying to push our bum up nice and high. And then it's almost like you're trying to arch your lower back without your knees bending, and that'll bring on the stretch and hamstrings and the calves. Now, my eyes and, are always looking at my toes, and I'm just chilling here, trying to relax. Your aim is to get your heels to the ground with your legs dead straight, and then your lower back really arched. Thirty seconds to go. Really relax. Use your breath to relax you as well. Okay, and then the last ones, we're just going to need a wall, so I'm going to readjust. So we're going to a wall and potentially a stick, just so we don't lose our balance. And obviously our timer as well. Sorry for the readjusting. So we're going 90 seconds on each side. 90 seconds. We want our foot to go up the wall and then knee to be as close as possible to the ground. Oop. Start our timer and then we're leaning back, trying to relax. So aim is to try and get your head back towards the wall and eventually your shoulders and eventually your back but take it slow, try and relax each here.
take your time getting out, but you're essentially going to just go straight into the next side. Make sure that knee is as close to the wall as you can get it. Once you set, start your timer. Almost uh, 10 seconds. And they come out. And that's a stretch routine. So if you want to make it longer or uh, there's another exercise that you want to add on to it, feel free. Or to make it longer, all you can do is pick the one that you felt like you were the tightest in and then go back and do more of that exercise. Or you can just do another round of this, which would make it a 40 minute stretch routine. So yeah, have a go.